Hey guys, welcome back to 2021.、Um, I'm Paul. I'm Ray, and we are the Alkanots. I hope you guys had an enjoyable New Year's.、Um, I know I did. As did I. And I'm definitely looking forward to the the year to come.、Um, it's definitely gonna be better than 2020, right? I would hope so. I definitely hope so.、Um, I'm holding hope that we can start gathering as groups again. That we can get back to concerts and live events and. Um, yes. Those are the things that I, I've really, really, really missed during 2020, and hopefully this year it's going to be, you know, back to normal-ish. Fingers crossed, both of them. I got my toes crossed too. All right,、uh, what do we have today, Ray? Well, today we're going to change it up a little bit.、Um, starting the new year with a cider. This one is called Batch 1904. It's from、um, Brickworks Brickworks Cider House in Toronto, Ontario. Um, say that one ten times fast. Of course, I can't. Yeah, no, can't do it. So、um, this is five percent alcohol content.、Um, they're, as I said, located in Toronto, Ontario. This is a company、um, that donates a lot to charities, and they definitely support green initiatives.、Um, what we're going to find when we taste this one is that it's、uh, dry and tart、uh, with a full apple finish. Is what they say.、Hmm. So、okay. I'm not too big on going outside my comfort zone. So this will be interesting. I'm not a Not necessarily a, a cider kind of guy. I enjoy ciders,、um, the dry ciders. I've tried a couple.、Uh, I've got to admit,、um, there are a few that are great.、Uh, not a fan of the sweet, flavory ciders, but、um, I'm really looking forward to this.、Okay. Uh, so just to let you guys know,、uh, as you probably have known,、uh, this is how it's going to work.、Uh, basically, we're going to take you on an initial taste. We'll crack this open, have a couple sips.、Uh, we'll give you guys our opinion on that.、Um, at At some point, we're gonna have a little chit chat about something. We'll get down to the halfway point in our glass. That's、uh, when we're going around the bend.、We'll、give you another opinion of what、uh, we think at that point, and then we head into that final chug. And regardless if it's good or bad, we gotta chug it. Right. And as we introduced in our New Year's Eve special,、um, there are consequences for the person to finish their chug last. I know,、um, and as you may or may not have seen, if you had joined us then,、um, we have a bag of assorted spirits.、Uh, we are the winner of the chug will reach in blindfolded, well, reach in blind, anyways, to the bag, and whatever comes out, you're doing a shot. I've been working on my chug. I'm hoping today is the day I beat Ray at the chug. So,、uh, not gonna happen. It's it's yeah, it's.、Uh... We shall soon see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some confidence. We shall soon see, Ray. <laughs> Absolutely. But、uh, let's just dive right in, Paul. Let's uh, let's, let's go for、that. our initial taste and、uh, see what we've got here. Ooh, I do smell. I do smell apple.、Uh, for sure. That's oh,、okay. that's a very fresh apple smell. And see, now my my head is thinking this is gonna taste like apple juice. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, I guess. That does not foam up very well at at all. So that is.、Uh, it's quite、uh, quite effervescent though. Like、uh, you can you can hear you know, like you can hear it sizzling. I'm trying to put it to our lapel mics here. The sizzling has stopped now. But look at that! It's just the. I like it. It's it's really bubbly. I like the way it smells. Could this be like a champagne style drink? It, I wonder. It kind of looks like a champagne kind of thing, eh? Yeah, the bubbles are large. They're just they just keep on going、yep. and going and going. Well, so,、uh, let's dig in. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Oh, I like that. Well, actually, uh, it's not bad.、Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, if uh. My elementary school kid had like an alcoholic problem, but still like apple juice. This is it. That was really, really inappropriate. <laughs> I did not expect that. Sorry.、Um, we do not condone underage drinking. Not at all. Please enjoy responsibly. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. GI Joe. So initial taste. I'm a.、Uh, I'm kind of liking it actually. It is. It does taste like a hopped up apple juice.、Mm -hmm. um, it is dry, very dry. And it's not that. It's not that 
hard to swallow. Like, uh, it's actually pretty easy going. Yeah, yeah. And, and much less sweet than just drinking an apple juice as well. Well, a hundred percent. Like, uh, like this, you could definitely smell the apples coming off of this drink. Is there an like, ingredients list on here? Oh, it's gluten free and GMO free. That's something definitely worth mentioning. And the ingredients are cider. Really? Yes. The ingredients list is cider. There's one ingredient. No way. Yes. Small batch, slow, small batch, slow fermented. Fresh Ontario apples. What does that mean? It does just it's say It's fermented cider. apples. So it's alcoholic apple cider. Oh. So there's no... Of course, it looks like it's been strained uh, or, or filtered. Nothing has been added to it at all? Uh, according to the ingredients, all it is is cider. Oh, well... That's interesting. Okay. Um, I'm not too familiar with cider, so I'm not, I don't know how it works. Yeah, that's, uh, I, again, maybe, you know, as, as uh, you know, things ease up for here in, in the area we're in, we can get out and visit a, a cidery and, and get some education, uh, bring you guys along with us. Maybe that could be something we can do as a live episode. I don't think they call them cideries. I believe they do. I think they call them cider houses. Or cideries. You're a cider. Anyways, I am enjoying this. I, I, I do like it. It's light. It's actually refreshing. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's got a sweet tartness to it. So it does. It really does remind me of a juice box, the straw sticking out kind of apple juice. Yeah, I, I guess. Um, I wouldn't have gone there um, in my mind, um, but uh, uh, it's it's... I've got to say, I've tried many ciders. There's one in particular that I enjoy that um, I do buy on occasion, and I hadn't tried this one. I think this may replace it. It's uh, it's it's a little lighter. Um, uh, and that they use uh, Ontario apples, that's great. You know, absolutely. They, they definitely support uh, the farmers out there in our area. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if there are cideries anywhere else. Uh, <laughs> I guess I guess wherever they grow apples, so I... Um, you, you know, what are you in Washington? Maybe Washington. Washington State apples is is Washington State an apple state? I believe it is. Someone's got to tell us. I worked in a produce market for years, and a lot of our apples came from Washington, especially Red Delicious. Washington State or Washington, like Washington? I don't know. It said Washington on the box. Okay. I don't believe it was D.C. I believe it was Washington State. I'm get, I'm kind of giddy. This is actually uh, putting me in a uplifted mood, and I don't know if it's uh. Just the call back to elementary school. I, I can't get the visage of a juice box with alcohol in it. That's all I can see when I'm drinking this. It really does taste like a juice box. And that's all I think of when I'm, when I'm sipping this back. It'd be kind of cool, actually, if they were to package these in the Tetra Packs. Because, for uh, when you go on picnics. and Because I know where we're from. It sounds like they're going to be opening up uh, the consumption of alcohol in some of our parks and recreation areas, as long as it's done responsibly. Because no one's so, ever done that in any of our parks. No, no. So um, you know, easy to easy to transport. But I guess if it's legal, it doesn't matter what it looks like, what what, it, what sort of packaging okay. it's in. But so, but Tetra Packs would be kind of cool. Let me ask you a question: If you're if you've got like a bunch of these. What activity are you taking these to? Backyard barbecue. Hmm. I, I, in in my experience with my group of friends um, and family, uh, everybody's bringing beer, wine, you know, mixed drinks, um, something different, something you can share. Maybe, you know, hmm. it's, a, it's not something common. If I was going to do an activity, it's got to be golf. If I'm golfing with my buddies, I'll have a couple of these in my bag. I say, hey, try these out. Let's, you know, and let's right. cheat on our scores again. Of course. A couple in your bag after you purchase them from the pro shop yeah. on the way out to the course. Because every hole you get a mulligan, right? That's how it works? Or two. <laughs> Come on, Paul. You've seen me golf. You understand. I'm telling you, you know what I'm looking forward to this year? A great golf season. Mm-hmm. 
I'm looking towards a, a, and you know what? Like I said before, I'm thinking, yeah, we'll throw some of these in our bag. You know? For sure. Um, and you know what? Uh, if you guys think it'd be a great idea to see Ray and I golf with some uh, some of our favorites or something new, um, be free to let us know. We, we'll take you on the golf course. Um, you'll find out how crappy we are. But nonetheless, um, I think it's a pretty good idea for 2020. Sure, right? sounds good. Let's take everybody on a, a golf tour with us. And uh, if there are any golf clubs out there who want to see uh, two crappy guys play golf and drink alcohol. And promote their course. Promote their course. Um, then give us a call. Let us know. <laughs> we totally want free Absolutely. Golf. But and it's funny that you mentioned golf, Paul. I was just gonna I was just gonna ask you, um, you know, looking back at 2020, uh, now that we're into 2021, what were some of your favorite moments um, from 2020? I know for me personally, um, I was very very fortunate that I was able to get out and play golf, uh, you know, once a week. That you know, it's something I haven't done in years. Um, uh, you know, I played a lot of our uh, you know value courses in the area, um, and. I think my game actually really did improve this year. Well, I was there with you. So <laughs> realistically, we've always talked for years and years and years about getting out there onto the course. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, either your job got in the way or my job got in the way or family. Not that family would get in the way, but they did. Uh, it wasn't just, it was nice to get out once a week. Mm -hmm. It was nice to, and you did do well. You did improve. Um, I know I knocked off at least one stroke off my game. So I'm a pretty happy camper. Absolutely. And we did a couple of tournaments mm -hmm. and we had a lot of fun. So I am looking forward to that again this year. Um, if we, like I said, if we can golf for freer, it'd be better. Um, if not, I, I'm willing to pay the, uh, you know, the $20 fees and plus cart, whatever. Um, Definitely enjoyed it. I had a great time. Uh, we had a foursome out there. Um, not sexual, but, you know, golf-wise. And we definitely... What? I'm just trying to let them know. Well, we're talking about golf, Paul. I think they knew. Some of them might not. They may be like, oh, look at these guys go. They're in a foursome. You've got to give our viewers more credit, man. Anyways, getting back to the golf point, we had a great time. It was, it was pleasant. We always had beers. Um, both at the clubhouse and in our golf bags. I'm not gonna lie, we did bring beer golf uh, with us. Golf beer, beer golf, golf beer. beer. But uh, I had a great time. I, I, I totally enjoyed myself, except for you know, there was one guy who would not drink while he was golfing. You know who you are. I hope you're watching because you know, we are pointing at you. And uh, I'm gonna say you probably did improve the most. But we definitely had the most fun. <laughs> yes, you were definitely the most consistent. <laughs> yes. Non-drinker. And again, enjoy responsibly. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Let's take a couple of swigs of this and let's get to that bed. I am tasting that tarty uh, apple. Um, everything they said yep. it was going to be, it is. Yeah, it's like that combination of a like a Granny Smith Macintosh. It is. You it's, know what? It's it's the the, the apples that you're going to cut up and make into a pie. And to be honest with you, I like I said I've, I've never been a fan of ciders, but I'm enjoying this. I'm actually enjoying this drink. Um, can I have, you know, a case of this? Not that I would drink a whole case by myself, but can my, my friends and I have a case of this? I don't know. It'd have to be a really hot summery day. Right? Yeah. I think if this is, if this is really, really ice cold, fresh out of the cooler, the fridge, yep. um, it would be easy to drink a I think, number of them. I think so but too. It, I, I also think it would be nice to, to, you know, you know, have a, have a cider, have a nice light, fresh, Beer. So you're saying this is a supplement beer? It is. I believe it's a. It's a. It's that. Oh, you know what? I've had. I've had two beers. I really want something else, but I don't want another beer. It's the change up. Yeah. yeah like absolutely. That. The Caesar of beers. Yes. 
Because I don't like Caesars. You don't like Caesars? I don't like Caesars. It's going to be a totally different episode. We're totally going to do a, a Caesar episode just because of that. So Paul will win the chug on that one for sure. <laughs> we'll need the bucket. If I even get to the bend, I'd be surprised. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually enjoying this. And like I said, I haven't had good experiences with Caesars. Mm -hmm. Ciders. 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 See, Paul really likes Caesars. I got Caesars on the mind. <laughs> um, ciders. Um, only because it, they've always been very, like, excessive, either excessively tart or excessively sweet. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, I'm not big on the sweet. Um, but, uh, this is very mellow. It's, it's got that apple taste to it. Um, I'm enjoying it. So I'm liking batch 1904. I have nothing bad to say about this, about this cider at all. Nothing. Um, it, it hits all the right notes is, um, from what m my perception of uh, what a cider should be. It's, it's it. This is it. This is it. This is what a cider should be. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, I'd, I'd had a couple of ciders before. I'd never tried this one. Um, I like it. Maybe we'll have a, a cider day. Sure. To compare all the ciders. Um, I'm pretty sure I had. We should do a cidery the, Sunday. A cidery Sunday live. A cidery Sunday live. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. This 4th of July weekend. Be there or be square. Anyways, um, I I am enjoying it. Yeah, obviously you jumped ahead of me there on your uh, your consumption. There, really, Paul. it looks like you're yeah. ahead of me. No, I don't think so. Oh, is it must be perspective, right? Perspective. You know what? If you're liking what you're seeing, please feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Uh, we would very much appreciate it. Um, we are looking to give away a whole bunch of prizes this year, so. The more you share and, and, and follow and get your friends to do the same thing, the more swag we can get to give out to you guys, um, regardless of where you are in the world. Some stuff we can't. Obviously, if we're doing alcohol, we can't just ship it out, you know, across the pond or, in, you know, into the States. But other things, um, let's get some swag. Let's get out to you guys. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but you guys need to help us out. Yeah. We're going to do some, probably some random, you know, draws from our comments and our subscribers and our likes on each video. We're going to look out. We'll reach out to you guys for contact info and we're just going to, on a whim, just send something out. So that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, I think it's time for our final chug. Of course you do. Cause you've got less than me. I think he set this one up. <laughs> I think I get chug apple juice. We'll see. We shall see. All right then. Okay. So the final chug it is. Rules are. Chug, back on the table. Move my can out of the way so that everybody can see okay. that mine hits the table first. Three, two, one. Cheers. <laughs> so good. So good. One of these days, I might let him win. Today's not the day. Gosh. So, well, anywho. You know what? You would be great in prison. <laughs> Why? I'll let you figure that one out. Oh, for crying out loud. I felt like Michael Phelps <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> at the end, I felt like, you know, Adam Sandler. I get that. But, get uh, that. but uh, no offense to either of those two gentlemen, so... See what we can find this time. Be kind, be kind, be what kind. We find in here. Ah! <laughs> show the audience. Appleton Estates. Ah! Signature Jamaica rum. Sorry, Paul. This is not going to be pleasant. Just uh, be kind. Anyways, I don't think I'm going to join you on this one, Paul. If you guys want to add a spirit to our mystery bag of spirits. Uh, let us know. Uh, we'll be glad to uh, add more mystery spirits in there. Um, if there's anything you want us to try out, if there's any kind of beers, um, if you're a brewery, you want us to try out your stuff, we will be glad to try it out. Just comment down below um, or just email us. It'll be fantastic. <sighs> 
Well, cheers, Ray. Cheers. I'm not joining you on this one. Cheers, folks. I should have gotten a bucket. Anyways, here we go. Sorry. A fine spirit. Right. Well, you probably should have done this before you had to uh, take yeah. that shot, but yeah. uh, final score, Paul. Uh, um, what do you think for... I actually enjoyed the sight. Um, so... I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it a four. I would buy it. I would put it in my fridge. I'd definitely take it on a, on a, on a, on a golfing excursion. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Okay, yeah, and uh, if, uh, this one's a four for me as well. Um, internet scored this one as a 3.5. So, I'm wondering if we're missing something on the cider end of things. Um, well, we if, haven't had that much experience. Yeah, we're with not. Cider, uh, so, so, but, uh, so I, definitely, uh, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Um, it's it's it said it was full of apple. It said it was tart. Um, I got it's the whole can says exactly what I, I thought it was going to be. So wow, that that <laughs> goes straight to the head. Did it? Oh god, I'm sorry. Wow. All right. Well, so we're the Alkanauts, and yep. uh, as we said at the beginning, that's all. I'm Ray. That's right. And. We'll see you next time, folks. Take care, guys.